Hey everybody, welcome to Peppermint and Tobacco, a YouTube channel all about home fragrance, including candles, and today I'm going to bring a review of Bath & Body Works Sundress Candle, so stay tuned. Thanks everybody for coming on back. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe both to the channel and check us out online at peppermintandtobacco.com. We have an Instagram feed too, so you can find us at Peppermint and Tobacco Insta. Sign up for the newsletter below, so every once in a while I do a drawing for free candle stuff. So our friend Robin won a $10 electronic gift card um, for being the lucky winner from July. And so I'm also going to pull a candle, a candle, pull a name for August it's almost the end of August, so sign up for the newsletter. Those of you who are uh, newsletter subscribers are always in the drawing and you can win more than once. So it's just a way for me to say thanks for being a supporter of peppermint and tobacco. So before we jump into the candle review, I want to share a couple of things. One is look at the progress that I've made on my crochet. So um, a I think a couple of videos ago I shared that um, I uh, get into crochet only in the winter months and thankfully the weather the past couple of days has been a little bit cooler here in North Carolina and uh, it's not been really cool enough to really get into crochet but it's back to school time, fall's just around the corner. I, I'm a summer lover, I love spring and summer but I am a fan for the change of seasons and so I'm actually looking forward to fall and a little bit less humidity. We had a beautiful day today and that was a little bit lower in humidity. It's amazing how that humidity can lowering can make it feel so much more comfortable. So anyway, um, talking about this uh, crochet. So my grandmother taught me to crochet. I wanted to do a poncho pattern and this poncho is actually made from two panels that are be shaped like L. So this will be one panel and then there'll be another panel and do some special folding and sewing it up. It looks pretty easy, but y'all can follow along with me and then maybe I'll do a video about um, crochet. Um, I like using one color so that I don't have to change colors and I like a pretty simple pattern. Those of you who are crochet fans, this is a half double crochet that I'm working in um, the back loop of the double crochet so that it creates a fun texture. Um, I like to use a single color because um, I can uh, watch television and sort of do the crochet without really thinking about it. It's almost a meditative, 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 anyway, however you say it, it can be relaxing. So um, anyway, Lion Brand yarn here is a pound of love in some gray color. It's called Oxford Gray. I had it upstairs. This was a new pattern for me. I'm not sure I got the sizing right, but we'll see. It may be a Barbie shaped um, uh, poncho when I get done, but we'll, 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 we will see together. So behind me, you can see there's a little bit of a science experiment that looks like it's happening. So those of you who follow the blog know that I and, and the YouTube channel know that I love to recycle and upcycle the candle jars. You know, it makes me feel a little bit less guilty for uh, having a hobby with candles. Um, and so these jars, um, I freeze the wax, but the, the candle jar is actually, um, you know, the wax in the bottom of the candle jar is too big for it to come through. And it, oftentimes the wax that I leave won't break when it's frozen solid. And so what I found is if I freeze it, it will come loose from the bottom and then I can use um, a butter knife when it's back to room temperature to sort of cut the wax and that's worked out really well for me and then of course I will use some dish soap uh, to clean off the uh, remaining soot, get it cleaned up nicely, move, remove the sticker and then um, I actually just plop them into the dishwasher to get them totally clean. So that's what's happening uh, over there. Um, I have uh, this lovely water hyacinth candle burning. So um, earlier, the, I bought it earlier this year. I was on a spring floral hyacinth kick, and this water hyacinth was really appealing to me. The fragrance on this is phenomenal, and believe it or not, I think that it is too strong. So what I've noticed is that this candle is a hot and fast burner. So um, I have definitely trimmed the wicks on this because when I didn't trim them and burned it for a few hours. I noticed it was smoking um, pretty heavily, um, like a chimney, and um, it was in a room with a ceiling fan, but some of my Bath & Body Works candles don't do this. It was just really intense and hot and had formed a really deep um, fragrance pool or wax pool 
throwing out a ton of fragrance, which is phenomenal, but it was a little bit too intense. I really like the fragrance notes on this, but I'm trying to keep it more subtle by uh, trimming the wicks all the way down and then um, maybe not burning it for quite as long. So a uh, review of that one coming up here once I have a, a, a better view of it. So far, the wax wasn't turning murky or scorching, and so that that's, that's okay. Okay, so on to what we're talking about today, which is this sundress candle. So the sundress candle appealed to me visually before I even smelled the fragrance. So I really like this impressionist uh, floral design. I know some people, you know, it could be controversial, but you know, give me a pink, um, inspired label like this that looks like a, a painting and I'm all about it. So the, the label actually has texture as if it were a canvas, uh, which I appreciate. And then, you know, it fits into just about any decor. I can see this, you know, being in a bathroom or in a living room. And it's just like, I felt like it was an attractive candle uh, to look at. It was a little bit, the label was a little bit more sophisticated. Let me bring it up so you can see it. So the, the candle here again has these interpreted roses. You can see the brush strokes in the label here. It actually you know, matched up pretty well. There's the seam for the sticker. And I just felt like it, the blue is attractive to me and I like the pink. Um, I love a floral. And then here at the bottom, there's the sundress label. So again, you know, the aesthetic quality attracted me to this candle first. I believe I saw it in the store and that's where I bought it earlier this year. Um, it has the Bath & Body Works um, shiny chrome top. I'm not a fan of this because you can see why it did lots of fingerprints on it. Um, so, you know, a textured top, you know, a hammered top or another texture would be like helpful. And then it's a three wick uh, candle. When I first got this candle and opened it, um, I thought that the wicks were a little bit too close together, but they've been worked out fine. So it may not be that the wicks are too close together. I might just, I don't know, it might have been the way that it looked. So the candle has burned really well. You can see that there's not a lot of residue on the side. It forms a wax pool that's even and, and melts evenly. You, if you like zoom in really closely, you can see a couple of black pops. And so this candle popped a little bit, not terribly. And once it was mainly popping when you first, when, well, when you relight it. And, and so just be aware of that. You can resolve some of that by trimming the wicks a little bit if you, if you want to, but I haven't found it like entirely necessary. Um, the wax is just a creamy white wax, nothing to write home about. So far it hasn't had any of the um, like swirls, the dark swirls where the wax gets scorched. Because it's in this opaque wrapper, um, the light shines through which makes it visually appealing and I like the flicker of the candle but you don't see the two-tone wax and so that's one of the benefits of having uh, a wrap like this. So one, not only is the candle like aesthetically, be uh, aesthetically beautiful and pleasing to look at, I also think that this fragrance is really nice. So I would call this like a feminine perfume fragrance with like almost, it has like this essence of lightness and, and wet that's almost like um, a, a rose water and ivy on cold. So it's a sweet feminine perfume fragrance. It almost reminds me of like um, Beautiful by Estee Lauder and then it's a, a floral perfume. But this is sweeter than that beautiful. Beautiful gets to be like a white crisp plural, but this is sweeter um, and maybe a little bit creamier on cold. Now, uh, the fragrance notes that Bath & Body Works says that it has is crisp pear, and I can get that crispness. There's like a sharp floral in there, sparkling white wine. It does have like an effervescence to it, but not as strong as like peach bellini or, um, yeah, like peach bellini would be the other one. So that peach bellini fragrance, even though that peach bellini candle didn't burn very well, um, has an effervescence that's stronger than this. Sparkling white wine, it just is bright and refreshing is how I would describe this. So you've got the sweetness of the pear, the fresh um, crisp of the fruit, and then this white wine makes it like fresh, summery, light and springy. It, sundress is a really great, you know, so when you're wearing like a caftan or sundress and it's light and cool and refreshing, that's the vibe that this candle is giving off. And the third fragrance note was, well fourth, fresh apples and white oak. So it does, I don't get the apples, um, and maybe that's the sweet, sweet apple pear. It does not go fruit. So if you don't like an apple 
um, candle, <clears throat> excuse me, you're safe here because this doesn't get very fruity or apple -y or even like pear to me. It just has a sweet note to it that balances out the sort of top note of the um, bright white floral. Um, the base note on this is a white oak that creates like a woodsy and I don't, um, it definitely doesn't smell like balsam or trees or like it, I don't get any of that. I think the white oak just sort of balances and creates a, a base for this fragrance, but it's not woodsy or like sandalwood or musky or anything like that. Friends, it really is a lovely, fresh, white floral. You know, think of White Diamonds by Elizabeth Taylor. Think of Beautiful. Think of, um, I wouldn't go to like Estee Lauder's Pleasures because Pleasures has like that, um, like a baby powder kind of vibe in it. And this doesn't get there. This is like crisper and it actually would be a really great fragrance for a body wash or a shampoo. I don't know if they make sundress in um, like body care at Bath and Body Works, but this could be a lot of fun. Um, it would be a, a, like a, a really nice perfume. So y'all comment below if you're like, John, this is old news. Sundress has been around for a while um, and it's in a, a personal care fragrance. I, you know, it would be something that, you know, would smell really lovely on someone. Um, in terms of burn, this one has burned really well. Uh, it hasn't burned hot and it hasn't burned fast and so you'll get the 35, 25 to 35 hours out of it. Um, and so overall the fragrance intensity has been okay. So I, this, this one I've become sort of nose blind to. I was burning it in our guest bedroom and I walked in there and it just smelled fresh and clean. Not clean like linen but it smelled fresh and like the perfuming fragrance but it wasn't like knock you out and it also wasn't something that was distinctive like oh that smells like pears or that smells like apple. it was just fresh clean pleasing candle fragrance and so there wasn't anything like completely like oh wow so fragrance throw definitely room filling fragrance intensity didn't quite uh, go down the hall um, it wasn't like a knock you out. So this candle back here, the water hyacinth, will, will, is so strong it will run you out of the room and this one won't. So that's actually a benefit for me and that's why I sort of connect it to the rose water and ivy is because rose water and ivy is an approachable fragrance. You can smell it in the room but it's not something that will really run you out. This one's a little bit brighter and has a sharper note than rose water and ivy um, but it is in that same sort of like refreshing, pleasing floral fragrance. Perfect for spring and summer. Um, could even be used like in January winter days when you want to have like a fresh sort of um, perfumed atmosphere. This would be a, it's a, it's a sophisticated fragrance that I think would be great for an entryway and it would be something that you know if you're having a dinner party it probably won't overshadow or compete with food but would be a great thing for guests to smell in your powder room um, because it would just be a nice fresh clean fragrance that has light floral but is appealing to, to a lot of folks. So. Thanks everybody for joining. So if um, you're looking for an all-arounder, sundress is probably it. I've been really pleased so far. I know it comes in a couple of different wraps. Um, so I'll come back with this water hyacinth review. I'm also burning a Yankee candle and I can't remember the name of it. I mentioned in another video. So I'm burning a Yankee in here. Upstairs there's a country candle uh, called Country something. Um, that's like a hydrangea floral that we'll be bringing you soon. So there's a lot more coming. And oh, I have an empties video that I'll be publishing after this one. And so um, uh, enjoy some of that. There's not, not these empties. I have even more empties. So stay tuned for that. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great week.